realm of philosophy, women have been significantly devalued by their male counterparts, the dominant patriarchy, from producing philosophical knowledge. The traditional approach to epistemology has been predominantly viewed through a male and Eurocentric lens, suggesting that the lack of input from marginalized groups is centuries worth of historical suppression. Thus, the devalued nature of the feminist perspective is apparent through the under-depreciation of Simone Beauvoir's second sex, the social classifications as suggested in the feminist theory, and the ignorance of Black feminist knowledge. As opposed to just to suggesting that men have actively suppressed feminist perspective, one could argue that the suppression of women ideologies instead stemmed from an underlying bias. For example, since the dawn of civilization, the role of men garnered social and legal power, while the role of women revolved around the crucial maintenance of society. Aristotle's philosophy even aligned with the idea that women were created to serve the domestic sphere. But this suggests that women cannot cultivate abstract concepts or even be in a position of power, which is simply untrue. Therefore, even if the underlying bias was conceptualized from the early responsibilities of men and women, it suggests that the patriarchy was created by society. Hence, the patriarchy can be overturned through a cultural shift. Yet, there is not enough willingness from the dominant patriarchy to become a part of this feminist movement, which implies that ignorance is, in fact, suppression. Simone Beauvoir's second sex was labeled as controversial for questioning the social, political, and religious patriarchy. Beauvoir's writing challenges why women are regarded as of inferior status, evidently proven by the lack of recognition she gardner during her time as a philosopher despite second sex containing philosophy carefully interwoven into literature many blatantly dismissed her philosophical notions implying that she was nothing more than a novelist Beauvoir's contributions as a philosopher were were not recognized and instead um seen as inspired by other male philosophers such as satyr not to mention Beauvoir wrote for other women her work was hence regarded as scandalous instead of being acknowledged for her analysis on the politics of patriarchy or her exploration into questioning what it means to be a woman. The knowledge encapsulated within second sex was obtained through Beauvoir's own experiences. Through her writing, she challenges how the, the political um, European ideologies have created conflicting notions on femininity that seek to justify the patriarchy, such as fabricating beliefs of women being inferior. Although Beauvoir is currently renowned for being one of the most crucial philosophers of our time, during the 20th century, she was persistently underappreciated for her work. Bell Hooks, the author of The Feminist Theory, argues the social classification and oppressions faced by women are distinctly trivialized by their male counterparts. Her well-renowned works, including Ain't I a Black Woman, Black Women Feminism, address how the blatant sexism and racism contributed to the lower status of Black women in society. Her literary work revolutionizes feminism as she advocates for marginalized identities such as race, sexuality, and gender to be taken into account when considering feminism. The decapitalization of the letters in her name, Bell Hooks, is symbolic of her desire to detach from her personal identity and instead compel individuals to focus on the subject matter at hand and what she intends to convey. This proves her capability to break social norms as Hooks' work strives to depict that society still supports um, the oppressive structures which are not only limited to the patriarchy. Hooks attributes the various types of oppression to a multi-dimensional system and goes on to create the term imperialistic white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. According to Hooks, the act of looking is political. As she declares by looking defiantly, one hopes to look to a change reality. She identifies the loopholes within a so-called democracy as marginalized groups still feel a prevalent culture of fear. Moreover, contemporary feminists are proven to offer a more um, articulate conception of all points of views as they understand the struggle for equality more thoroughly, having faced it when compared to their male counterparts. 
As a social theorist, Patricia Hill Collins has addressed the prominent themes of interlocking systems of oppression and how black feminist knowledge can oppose the historically dominating approach to knowledge. Systems of beliefs or ideologies that seek knowledge were exclusively developed based on masculine Eurocentric thinking. Um, thus, knowledge collection was missing accurate input from women. Colin aims to recover and pursue the wisdom of Black women to help fill the gaps in our learning. Her approach to knowledge is divergent as she views forms of knowledge as ways of empowering people by providing hindsight into their experiences. Therefore, Collins can challenge the oppressive systems by utilizing methods of knowledge that emphasize experience, fresh insights, and value emotions. Furthermore, it is crucial to consider that the Afrocentric feminist view on family, community life, and even Black feminist thoughts is really crucial. Collins conveys how one could approach ending the numerous systems of oppression and instead launch innovative ways to improve the situation for marginalized groups by considering philosophy from another perspective. Overall, the feminist perspective has been undermined for generations due to the dominant patriarchy by the evident underappreciation under for sec second sex by Simon Beauvoir, the ignorance of ideals from the feminist theory, and the dismissal of Black feminist knowledge. His story has effortlessly disregarded the ideologies of, of the female perspective um, regarding um, abstract ideas, going as far as to completely suppressing them. As depicted in Beauvoir's case, feminists have struggled to even be acknowledged as philosophers, not to mention the lack of credit they received for their work. While social classifications and impressions were considered the norm during Bell Hooks era, even Hill suggests that breaking the traditional ways to view knowledge is by looking at it through a different lens. These female philosophers demonstrate how they were constantly overlooked, but suggest the importance that their words hold. They all process paramount ideas and have contributed to vast areas of philosophy on numerous occasions. Alas, one should not forget the struggles that the feminist view had to encounter in order to thrive. Thank you.